I got a four in everything. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Sylvia Nati. Over here on this channel, I love to do lifestyle videos, challenges, vlogs, makeup, hair, fashion, beauty, all of that fun stuff. So if that's your type of content, pause the video and subscribe. So I'm sure some of you may have noticed that I started this video with very, very low energy because as you've seen by the title, you can tell this is about to be a very depressing, maybe 10 minutes of my life. Sorry, I just I just changed the lighting. Hopefully it's not too bright. I probably even want to take my thumbnail before making this video instead of after because I'm probably gonna cry. <laughs> so I've actually been in your position before. You, the person watching this. Because I remember this time last year, I was watching people react to their IB results and me, I'm thinking, Eh, okay i do want to make a video like this one day but seriously you're actually going to put your results out there for the public to see i can't imagine myself doing it and i'm like imagine even me i don't know why i'm doing this <laughs> but i do need content to upload for you guys wait let me move you guys closer i am just chilling in my room i'm generally like super super scared to actually just look at my results i was actually planning to open my ib results let me not lie like the day i step into uni i actually don't even know my final grades from when i graduated hashtag class of covid19 so i'll actually have to go check my grades now so i can see what my predicteds were so i'm also gonna be checking my high school grades i still haven't checked that i have my diploma but i don't know like how i finished it how i finished the year Guys, I'm so sorry if this is bright. I don't know. So if you don't know what the IB is, IB stands for International Baccalaureate. It is basically the devil in disguise. It is depression in disguise. And it is the devil incarnate. It is a form of education that thrives from children's failures. So one of the main reasons I'm super, super nervous to actually look at my results is because when they came out, the amount of people I saw on Snapchat, on Instagram, complaining about how people have dropped 12 points, people have dropped five points, people have dropped hella, hella points than what they were actually predicted it's not been good for millions and millions of people and i'm scared that one of those millions of people will be me i don't think i've heard one one person tell me that they're, they're happy with their IB result. so 2020 is just gonna keep on throwing curveballs at us the grading system is super super different if you do not know what the ib is it grades one to seven seven being the highest an excellent score and one being the lowest a very poor score so i'll put the conversion table right over here just for reference for those of you who need it and yeah let's just get right on with the video so first things first is actually just go into my manage back manage back is what we use to put our grades in at school so i'm actually gonna go check my grades so i can find out my prediction and the way that I can find out my predicted is by adding all the numbers up and for those of you again who are not familiar with IB the highest amount of points I believe you can get is 45 so if I add all of my grades up 1 to 7 that's my number that's my predicted grade out of 45 oh it's not managed back it's power school my bad it's literally been only a month and I've already forgotten how to find my grades oh my account has been disabled so i can't access my grades now so i can't tell how many points i've dropped by okay um we don't need to find out my predicted it's fine i'm pretty sure i know like what i got in the at the end of the year i, I just know it in my head so yeah we'll just go with that there's literally been hundreds of emails the school has been sending us about the ib i have opened none so that's what i'm going to do now the first one um it's so long it's so long they can literally write this in three sentences i trust you are all well the ib results were released yesterday and the candidate component grade reports will be released later today this report will give candidates more details as to the actual marks they achieved for each component of each course should you wish to challenge or appeal your results i have attached information provided by the ib inquiries about results for may 2020 and the EU are formed for a category one marks. Kumbe, they knew that we're going to fail. And then they, before they even gave us our results, they said, should you wish to challenge or appeal your results? These people knew, they knew. <laughs> IB have just introduced some notable additions to the remark process. They have now included an EU R tolerance for the subjects where marks have been calculated in the absence of exams. Anti-tolerance, we're marked on tolerance for the subjects. 
everyone's tolerance marks must have been so low because those last few weeks of actually doing zoom you know how many people never showed up to any of my classes these are regulations and whatever i really would have loved to be informed of before choosing to sleep through so many zoom classes it's 123 dollars to remark my papers let me actually open the grade report. So before I begin, this is just a disclaimer. I did IB certificates, not the full diploma. And my courses were SL Chemistry, but I dropped it after doing IB Year 1, Swahili, Abinitio, Math Studies, English Language and Literature, Psychology, Higher Level, English was also High Level, and HL Music. I think I'm gonna cover, I'm gonna cover the screen while I go down. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Should I cover each grade? No, I'll just open it. I don't know. I'll just open it. The Wi-Fi decides to lag. The Wi-Fi decides, decides to lag. Oh my god. Okay, it's here, it's here, it's here. It's here, it's here, it's here. Oh my god, it's literally open. Okay, okay. For English, um, HL, my final grade is a 4. I didn't expect that because I was so sure of that 5. Not happy about the English one. The wrong mark, my teacher who marked me, he gave me a 19, but the moderators dropped by 2 points and gave me 17 so they took away two points already what but no 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 okay so i got a four in my orals my teacher gave me a seven but the ib moderators gave me a four my written tasks i got a six out of seven which is really really good but i honestly expected to do worse in my written tasks because i hate writing than my ia and i also don't understand what scaled marks are but okay i pass i pass i didn't get a three so it's fine next is swahili okay i got a seven i'm not surprised I'm, i love that class seven i got a seven so that's good psychology psychology <laughs> I got a five. I'm so happy. I honestly thought I was gonna finish that class with a four. Like psych, I love psych. That's actually going to be my, my major in university. But the way that IB asks you question, you have to answer it the way that IB wants it. And that's what brings you points. I know literally everything. I love the class. But if you don't answer a question specifically to how an IB moderator would answer it, you basically fail the class. But you, you leave the class knowing the content. So I remember the last time I looked at my grades, I had a four in psych. And I needed, I really needed a five, in, a five in psychology, so my credits could be transferred into my first year of uni, so I wouldn't have to take some classes since I already did those courses while I was taking IB. So now I'm super, super happy that my credits will be able to be transferred to my university, so I'll be able to take less classes at least for my first year. So that's one great thing. I got a, I got a five for psych, math studies. A five, a five. I got a five in math. Why? Do you know how hard I worked on my IA? My teacher hyping me up, yeah, you could get a six, you're so close to a seven. I got a five. But the five is not the problem. It's like, why are you hyping me up, like putting my hopes up that you're probably gonna get like a six, but I got a five. Okay, it's fine. So far, so good, only one five. I mean one four. Next is music, and I got a four. I'm not surprised that I got a four in music because fuck that class. Fuck the government. Fuck the Fed. Fuck the government. Nigga, fuck anybody controlling this system. You watching this video, fuck you. Fuck me too. You should fuck all of us. Get I'm not mad at the four. I honestly like started that course. Like after four months into that course, I knew I was not going to finish this course with anything above a, a four. I knew that. I knew I was going to get a four. So I'm not hurt. I'm not hurt about the four. I got a four in everything. I got a 4 in creating, a 4 in my MLI, and a 4 for my solo performing. No, that one, that one I'm actually vexed. Oh, oh my god. The only reason I'm vexed at this is because, like, you know those teachers who, they just tell you, you they're doing everything right? That you're doing everything right? You ask for their help, they tell you you're fine, and this, this is the results that you come out with. 20 minutes later. Yeah, I think um, it's super super late. It's like 10 minutes to 11 p.m. I remember finishing my school year in music with a 6 and I dropped 2 points to a 4. I remember finish in finishing English with a 5 but I dropped 1 point so I just lost 3 points. Thank God it wasn't that huge. My dad has actually been pressing me to open my results for the whole day and I'll tell him don't worry, don't worry, I have to make the video first. Like he's been, you, hey, you, you, you don't know. Like with education with this man, priorities, priorities. So he's been pressing me and I've just generally been so nervous to show him how I did. 
but I feel comfortable, I feel fine. It's just I I do feel robbed low key. You know those things of like I'd rather tell I'd rather you tell me up front that I'm not gonna go to an IB instead of you hyping me up. You actually doing my coursework. I'm talking about a teacher specifically. She did my coursework. Like that's her work she got a four on, not me. She she did that essay for me. And I I'm the one who's written a four. I think I'm just gonna end the video here. I'm fine, I'm happy with the results. It is what it is. I'm going to university, I graduated high school. It's over and done with and I don't have to think about school ever again. I'm so, so sorry for this video being like low energy. Definitely will not be seeing more of this anytime soon. And if you have reached this far, make sure you comment this emoji down in the comment section below. And don't forget to leave this video out without giving it a big fat thumbs up and turn on your post notifications so you get a notification every time I upload a new video so you don't miss out on anything fun and amazing. And with that, I'm just gonna say good night.